close. Yeah, too close. Jesus. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You're losing blood. Sit down. Okay, um, so the good news here is I'm pretty sure that losingness is like not a common rabies symptom, but if you start to have like muscle spasms or hallucinations, or, or if you suddenly feel super aggressive, like you want to punch me, then like totally let me know, okay? Yeah. I kind of want to punch you. <laughs> Since you were still attacked, that's a good sign. Thanks. Yeah. Can you turn around? So, this place is like Hawkins, we've got the monsters and nasty stuff? Pretty much. Watch out for that vibe. It's a high vibe. What? All the creepy crawlies around here are like one or something. Step on a vine, you're stepping on a bat, and you're stepping on Vecna. Oh, damn. I mean, everything in our world is still here, right? It's for like, people, obviously, but... As far as I understand, yeah. So then, theoretically, we could go down to the police station and grab guns or grenades and or whatever we need to blow up those bad things guarding the gate. I kind of doubt the Hawkins police have grenades, but guns, sure. We don't need to walk away from town town for guns. I have guns in my bedroom. You, Nancy Wheeler, have guns, plural, in your bedroom? <laughs> Full of surprises, isn't she? A Russian Makarov and revolver. You almost shot me with that one. And you almost deserved it. Be modest, dude. <sighs> So, yeah, guns are like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah, me too. So, what are we waiting for? Whatever you're about to say, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to freak anyone out, but I swear we've seen that tree already. That's impossible. That would be just perfect, right? We get lost in the woods and Vecna destroys the world. We're not lost, Robin. <laughs> Watch out for vines! Hi, one, remember? Thank you! She's just stressed. Scared. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just... She's a super klutz. She told me she took longer than other babies to walk. I really shouldn't laugh. <laughs> so this is like really embarrassing, and if you tell Robin, I'll kill you. But when I was a baby, I crawled backwards. Crawled backwards? Yeah. I, I like pushed with my hands like this. Beep, beep. <laughs> Always in reverse. I don't know, it kind of makes sense, right? Like you push to move. No, it doesn't make sense. Well, it did to my tiny Harrington brain. But one day, I reversed my baby butt down a flight of stairs and thumped my head real good. My mom thought I was a total goner. Wow, that explains so much. I think it actually kind of does. Like right out the gate, I am super confident, but I'm a total idiot, which is a brutal combination. But the good news is, if I get a big enough thump on the head, I can change. I can learn. I can crawl forward. So I, I think what I'm trying to say in a really stupid roundabout way is thank you. Thank me for, for giving my squishy head the biggest thump of its life two years ago. It changed my life. I'm crawling forward now. Sometimes I just think that maybe if there was another girl that gave me a thump before we met, maybe things would have gone different. Like if we were meeting for the first time right now, I don't know, part of me thinks we would have made it. Steve, remember that dream I told you about? The Winnebago? About seeing the country with my six little nuggets? All of that was true, every single word. But I left one part out, the most important part. You're there, Nance. You've always been there. Hey guys, you guys, awesome news. We weren't going the wrong way after all. Action. 
Okay, and uh, what about a smaller airline? It doesn't have to be one way. I'll take one seat if you have one. What do you say? Or at least it's tomorrow. Tomorrow? Seriously? That's too late. I know. Can you ask about the baggage compartment? The baggage compartment? Yeah. We suffocate. I mean, dogs are in there all the time, man. They don't suffocate. There is another way. A way to protect Max from here. This is Max. When one attacks, he will be in her mind. I can do that too. I went to Mama's mind and to Billy's. I can go into Max's. She can carry me to bed now. Piggyback. I can protect her from mine. By from here. My bite righteous. That'll actually work? I think so. A bathtub would help. Yeah, you gotta be clean to enter the mind. No, no, it's a sensor deprivation tank. It will access the mind so she can focus on her powers. Well, didn't we just pass a motel? They'll have a tub. Yeah, but not salt. How much salt are we talking about here, my dudes? Well, it depends on the tub, but a lot. 600 pounds of spice? You know where to get 600 pounds of salt? We stand up? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, it'll work. it'll work. I know the magical place that is all we need, my brave little superpower friend. Mind fights on, let's go. I think that's why I just stood there and watched. Not because I was scared or weak, but because I didn't know if he deserved to be saved. Maybe all my prayers were finally answered. And I, I can't forgive myself. I've tried and I can't. I can't. Now, when I lie in bed at night, I pray, I pray that something terrible will happen to me. So that's why I'm here because I want you to take me away. I want you to make me disappear. Is that all true? You wanted Billy to die. Why are you talking? Do you ever have thoughts like that about me? No, Lucas, never. Normal people don't fantasize about killing people, Max. You realize that, right? Lucas, please. I thought you were getting better. But you aren't, are you? You're sick. Lucas, you don't mean that. Maybe it's a good thing that it takes you. Maybe it's for the best. In fact, I'm glad it's going to be you. I'm glad it's going to be you who breaks the world. Looks like gathering mushrooms. I found her searching for a very small person. What? Nothing. He just kind of does his own thing. He's a little more on the eccentric side. I guess welcome to the club, right? Yeah, welcome to the club. Hey, Nance. Yeah? I'm sorry I wasn't there. To be honest, I'm glad you weren't. I just mean... I'm glad you were with Mike and Will. They don't think they need a babysitter, but they do. Well, I mean, I guess I'm glad you were there too. Or else who would have been in charge? Steve? He's grown up a lot now. Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, Nance. Yeah? Are we okay? Uh, yeah, of course. It's just... Life seems to keep getting in the way of our big plans, doesn't it? Yeah, sure seems that way. Is it too late to add saving the world to your college resume, you think? Uh, your acceptance letter. Not that it even really matters anymore, but 
Did it ever come? No, not yet.